Today I decided to do a video about makeup for ladies who are rocking the glasses. For those who knows me, they know that I'm just like an eccentric freak of glasses. I have many pairs and um, I love colors, so they are colorful. So today I selected two pairs um, and I want to show you how you can still have a nice makeup uh, that can be seen uh, matching with your glasses. So these are one of my favorite pair, the Celine pair, which is uh, normally a sun, sun, yeah, sunglasses, but I like to, you know, be different. So this is the pair number one. So you see that it's the theme is brown and blue. And another blue pair, which is one of my very first pair of glasses from Italian Independence. <laughs> So basically because this is an eye focus, we're going to start by the brows uh, because it's the second important part of this makeup. So I'm brushing up my brows. Very important to brush them up just to see the shape of your brows and it will also help you to maximize your lid knowing that we once again are wearing frames. I'm just gonna groom quickly my brow because as you can see, I already have a natural shape. Yes, God was generous with me. So basically you just come and oh, outline the bottom and this basically because also I don't twist my brows. So it's a way for me to hide these unnecessary brows that I don't that I don't remove naturally. Okay, so don't go too far in terms of light concealer. I can use the excess to actually start my and the eye. No waste, no waste. <laughs> And then exactly my color complexion too. Yes. And then we brush it up with one of my favorite products, which is warm up the color, the natural color of my brows, and it helps also to set them the way I brush them. And that's it, you have your brow. Time for the step two. So, after the brows, we're gonna do the under the eye and I've already started here um, but for the people who wear glasses you know that it's very very annoying to have this darkness coming here that can even come under your eye so it's even more important for us to add some light around our eyes and this is what I'm gonna do now with my concealer actually let me stop here and put my base so another important part because we gonna see your lashes through your glasses but we don't want them to be too long because we don't want I mean too straight because we don't want them to touch the glasses and how annoying it is when it touch the glasses so very important to curl the concealer so Apply one or two tone lighter than your natural complexion, not more, otherwise it really looks ashy. And then extend it following that line to kind of like give this lifting, natural lifting effect. See? Not more than that. And it's good to come and just like blend the edges 
Yeah, you will notice I don't use beauty blenders because I really love brushes. Voila. So, you see the comparison between the other eye? It's not that necessary to go lighter, especially if it's a day makeup. Now I'm gonna set everything with a very soft veil of loose powder. Just enough to set, but not too much so I don't use the glow that I've applied earlier with my strap cream. As my theme is blue and brown, let's start by the base which is a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. Give this nice, soft and warm, smoky. It's my base, so it's gonna stabilize everything else that I'm gonna add on, and it's matte. On top of it, I wanna add a little bit of shimmer. I selected this nice, this brown pencil that has a little bit of shimmer, it's bronzy, just on the center of my lid. This brown pencil add some dimension to this very soft brown smoky, which I'm gonna intensify now with that darker brown. So it's a three dimensional brown smoky. That you will add on the crease of your eye and glaze it all around through the cut crease. I'm gonna take a warmer color, uh, which is a, an orange here, with a fluffy brush, a blending brush, just to diffuse that that we've just applied. So it's very natural, but it's now time to add a little bit of funky into your makeup. So for that, the blue gonna be the color. And because we wear glasses, we don't want to extend too much. So I'm gonna work around my lash line with this amazing paint which is also a waterproof color so for all my girls with sensitive eyes this color is perfect and this texture is perfect because it's stable never forget to blend 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 You can rock this look with also a blue eye pencil if you have one. And now on top of it, you can come and dab with an electric blue eyeshadow.
You'll never forget to blend. It gives this nice diffused finish. See? See, it's the very important to kind of like balance it out. Reason why it's soft here and it's more intense on my lash line so then I catch all this attention with this unconventional color now I want to lift my eye a bit with a very natural liner so I'm gonna do it with a pencil and just just focus on the outer corner of my eye so it's not gonna be a winged dramatic wing liner Another tip, because when we wear glasses, it means that we don't see, you know, perfectly. So when you've done your liner, just come with a mango brush to create the definition. And just like precise your line and push the texture from your wing to the inner eye. So remember what I said, we want them to be curled and curved as much as of you can, which I've started to do with my base. But if your lashes are straight and not curly like mine, you will have to use a lash curler. So see I have my mirror in the bottom so I can push them as much as I can without ruining my eye makeup. And then I use a small brush so I can reach the roots of my lashes. So I can lift them as much as I can. See? In once, thanks to my base, not only I gain the volume, but I can also stretch them as much as they are able to. Okay, See? let's keep it real. I still have some residue on my lid, but it's okay. Um, it's just about waiting for the texture to dry and get a clear brush or anything that can help you to just scratch the color. And then you can come back with your eyeshadow to just fix what happened so that's what i'm gonna do now but wait for the texture to dry otherwise you're not gonna be able to remove it fixed now that same color because I'm really catch the attention with my under eye once again my inner eye gonna be with that same bronzy brown jumbo pencil just to bring the light without too much and drama. while I close up to the result of this makeup what do you think <laughs>
Now it's time to try the glasses. Let me start by the selling one. See the perfect match. I even pushed it further and add the matching accessories, blue and brown. I like it. So it works with these ones. And if, if you more edgy like me, yes, check. It also work with this one so as you know and as you understood um, the whole idea is really to bring the makeup around your eyes so you can still see your makeup through your frame so you see my under eye is the focus of this eye makeup we don't really see the smoky so it's really about bringing this soft brown smoky for the balance and then you see how my lashes are also catching the attention of this look so understand that as you wear your glasses make sure that you pop around your eyes without bringing too much drama and that it match with your frame if you like me you like colors on your frame so this is it a very soft and nice eye look to rock your glasses this was Mala Sangare. feel free to ask me for more questions and I will actually create more looks with all my frames bye, bye